Hello, everyone. I'm Larry Ridley, and you're tuned in to Madden 18 on EA Sports. Happy New Year, everybody. In today's late season matchup, we have two teams who have victory on their minds. It's the Cardinals going up against the Seahawks. Larry, EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Evergreen State and CenturyLink Field in Seattle, Washington. These folks love their football in Seattle. This was the scene a moment ago as the home squad came out of the tunnel and it was just absolutely deafening in this building. They're set for football, so are we as the Seahawks get set to match up with the Arizona Cardinals. Here we go, the final week of the NFL season. Week 17 is underway. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. So out come the Cardinals now for their opening drive. In his 15th year now from USC, Carson Palmer will be the man under center. He'll turn 38 in December, and there was some discussion in the offseason about him posture too great, and he goes down once more. The rookie from Michigan State, Malik McDowell. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you get three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. Palmer gets him set third and long for the Cardinals after the sack. the play fake. Here's Palmer. Into double coverage and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 33. And he'll get this one out to the 50 to the midfield stripe. They were ball hawks last week. They had a trio of interceptions on defense in the first drive. They pick up right where they left off. They're creating quite a reputation for themselves, aren't they? And sometimes what happens is when they know that the defense can take the ball away as they saw the, or the previous week, now you try too hard to not let them take it away, and you force yourself into errors. They've intimidated them, in a sense, and gotten the ball from them. And the Seahawks get ready to trot out on the field. you're doing best I expect them to go ahead and use their top guys all the way through this one on second down here's Wilson and a grab made by Doug Baldwin the numbers for Baldwin last week comfortably up over 100 yards when cruising past that number and two touchdowns. How'd you like to be the D coordinator this week? He watched that game last week, and I know his first thought was a loss of four. You know darn well both of these teams reviewed the film and saw that this defense had five sacks last week. They got to keep their QB upright. And they're going to try their best to do exactly that. But they're facing a team where getting to the quarterback is a mindset. It's a mantra for them. And they play a game within the game. And you know what it is? Let's race to the quarterback and see who gets there first. The NFL on EA Sports is fueled by Gatorade. Brandon Gordon hits the Seahawks with a football to begin quarter number two. But they face a second and long to start things out. From the shotgun, Wilson. It's caught outright by Graham. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. It's a gain of 19 down to the 19, and it's a first down. Almost his shoulders looked a little off kilter there when he threw that. I don't think you're being overly critical there. You're just analyzing it, and he gets those shoulders right. That pass will go from incomplete to complete. And he's got it. And he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. Jermaine Kurz. Hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And the Seahawks are able to strike for six. Partner, remember that old film of Peyton Manning going through the route tree with his great receivers in Indianapolis? I think we're seeing the results of the same type of work here today. 
These guys know each other so well, they don't even have to call the play. They can just look each other and know the route that's going to be run, and usually the connection is perfect. Blair Walsh on to attempt the extra point. And this will give the Seahawks a 7 to nothing lead. unit is out on the field and they will send this one away that'll be taken in the end zone and no run back here this will be a touchback and it comes out to the 25 yard line Cardinal offense coming back out let's give you a look at the playoff race now this is end of the weekend in the NFC and following the interception just Coming up in two minutes, we'll check in with Larry Ridley in Orlando with highlights and analysis of this first half of play. And I'm going to check in with a heater. I'm going to be right there with you, partner. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. And now the Seahawks are going to take a timeout here on defense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. and now they're back out and ready. And the 42-year-old veteran's kick is up and good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. A little bit of a lower trajectory there on the deep kick, and it worked. Had to do it because he had to drive it out low because of the length of the kick. Able to do that, got it above the defense, and over the post. Not a good return. He's across the 35-yard line, right around the 36. The Seahawks offense now, they get ready to head back onto the field. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they throw good for four? It's second down. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? They got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets them a new set of down. down with Wilson. Complete out right to Curse. And he takes it down deep into Arizona territory. That one goes for 36 yards. This offense can certainly move quickly when they want to. Three plays, three pass completions, in the blink of an eye, they've got a first and goal. Almost felt like a lightning bolt hit in this game, didn't it, for them to get downfield that quickly? And now first and goal, expect them to tackle. What feels like a good defensive play? but I know it's really not. They had a chance to keep points off the board. Now they have a chance to kick a field goal by missing that shot. Yeah, especially at this spot in the field. He's got to be upset he couldn't come up with that INT. He's going to run, but he's got a long way to go. Pete Carroll rolled the dice, but it didn't work out. And the Cardinal defense is going to get the football back. Well, they were looking for a clutch play there on fourth. Unable. So we've reached halftime here on New Year's Eve. As we send you now to Orlando to check in with Larry Ridley and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, LR. Thanks, Brandon, and welcome to the EA Halftime Report. So no update from Larry. After 17 weeks, folks are saying, let's get on with the show. So we'll oblige as we get you set for the second half kickoff. This is taken at the three. bad return here he gets it out to the 25 yard line the Seattle offense now set to come back out on the field they have the lead now they'll be looking to show them one thing hit them with something else second and ten it's Wilson again and Graham's got it complete and he's taken down, but not before getting this across midfield and yards. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. 
the tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this a lot of contact there, but there was no way it appeared that he was going to get a flag on that one. Looking for it, but he wasn't going to get it. And as an ex-defensive back, you love it when they let you play and jostle downfield. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Thompson. It's a gain of five on the play. It didn't work out. Well, even though it didn't work out, I would not be surprised at all <laughs> if they went ahead and did it again. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Darn right. There's Wilson to throw, eluding the pressure right. He may try and run for this. Now, I know it's an emotional game, Charles. You can't do that. And when you get into your film sessions and you argue about it, and in today's NFL where we're used to a bit more scoring, this feels almost like a well-pitched game in baseball on both sides, but the tension continues to build. There's Baldwin, touchdown, Seattle. Doug Baldwin, his 14th touchdown now on the year. And the Seahawks find a way to stretch their lead. A good sustained drive there in this third quarter, capping it off with a touchdown to give them a nice two-score advantage. It was actually a fun one to watch, wasn't it? I mean, for me, seeing the mix of what they did, how they moved the ball downfield. And they will line up now for the two-point try. Throwing again here, Wilson. And this is going to be caught. It's good. And that extends their lead by two more. And around the goal line, especially on two-point tries, sometimes the QB's best friend is that big target to tight end. I love how you described it because you know he's going to have some length and some catch radius as well as a big body to keep people away from the football. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down at the 21-yard line. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. They're down in this game, a chance. Now as a play caller, you got to give them a little bit of help. Maybe keep your tight ends a little bit more. Maybe the running backs help you a little bit with the pass blocking. But you've got to help them get some confidence because you can't abandon the play calling right now. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. here down a few touchdowns they need points and they need big points they'll try and run this is Johnson and he's gonna get this back to the three yard line and no further they'll say no game going and as we've seen throughout this season it's no picnic trying to score touchdowns against this unit they're ranked number one against the run but it's also difficult because it's not easy to throw the ball against them either. They're able to get a couple here, but won't right around the one. Well, sometimes I get caught in hyperbole, but I think they desperately need to punch this one in. They're running out of time. Yeah, two-score game, second half. You're down here. This is the time. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cardinals. John Brown with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Cardinals draw a bit closer. Well, it was third and one. I was expecting run so much for that. They pass it, they score it. That had the feel of the head coach telling the offensive coordinator, you've got four downs. Here's Phil Dawson now for the point after. And he knocks it through. That makes it a five-point ball game. It's 15 to 10 now. Here's Dawson now to kick this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five as he's taken down right at the score at the bottom of your screen a moment ago. We got a good one going on there. Brian Hoyer with one touchdown pass thus far. Now they'll run it on the toss. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. 
One quarter remains here as the regular season starts to wind down. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now in Seattle. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far, and the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. He's got the first down and more, pass of 40. 15 yards here for number 15. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. But once you get to game speed, it doesn't always time up quite that well. That one goes incomplete. The Seahawks will go for it. It's Wilson. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Carlos Dansby. And he'll bring this one back to the 29. A critical error. Six yards still to go here on second and goal. And he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. David Johnson, touchdown number. And the Cardinals have taken the lead here in the fourth. And they're able to run it in. It started with a battle in the trenches. They won there, and they got in for six points. And that's going to be a tough one for the defense to deal with. They've got to go to the bench now and figure out how are we going to slow down this running game because on that particular play, they had no answer. So they make the decision. They want a three-point lead versus a two-point lead, and they got it. Yeah, at this stage of the game, it seems like the exact right thing to do. Put a little pressure on your defense, but the biggest thing now is you're making the other team chase you. up to lead the offense again and the interception that ended their previous drive that might be one we look back on and say that was the turning point of this game hey partner guess what there's still time for a few more turning points in this ball game I mean, we could have some twists and turns stay tuned a good pick up there of 20 yards they go play action here on first down and the catch is made here by Tyler Lockett he goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. Hard line. A gain of six there on first. Wilson will throw again. Flush to his right. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. Blitzing for as that pass goes incomplete. This a big play for both sides. What will we see here? Third and four. Here's Wilson, eluding the pressure right. He can run for it, and he will. Time for a break. We'll come back for the electronic conclusion after this. So it's Seahawk football as we march toward a conclusion. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having to well, those are the ones you really hope your guys come up with. Yeah, you don't want your guy to be able to take the out because it was a tough catch. You needed him to come up with that one because if he does, it alters the perspective of this two-minute drill, doesn't it? It's caught on the left side by Baldwin. And down inside the 15 he goes. It will continue. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now... In this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. He'll look to throw. End zone caught. Touchdown, Seattle. Jermaine Kurz with touchdown number two in the game and now 11 on the year. And the Seahawks have taken the lead here in the fourth. Wow. I know it's a never-say-never never situation. But to me, that looks like that's the one that's going to finish them off. The score that puts them in front here late. But now you got to rally your kick team, don't you, and say the lane Because they're so excited they want to make the last tackle. <laughs> you mess up, could come back at you a long way. Here's Wilson. And he is 
is incomplete. Protection was great. He had time to set up a campsite. But in the secondary, though, they were ready. And I think that in most places on the field, if you have that much time to throw the ball, someone's going to shake free and you'll find an open receiver. But condensed near the goal line on a two-point conversion, all that exit. Oh, no, he lost the football. Well, that simply is a missed opportunity. They're in position. If they take the ball downfield and score, they've got a chance to win the game. Instead, they cough it up. I don't think next week at practice is going to be a whole lot of fun for him. On the other side, no bigger time to force a turnover when you've got that small lead. Yeah, and when you look at it from the, the offense's perspective, taking care of the ball is so important. I know they're going to have all kind of ball security drills in practice all next week. Here come the Seahawks now set to take over. Although it looks good, you know the coaches, they haven't counted this as a victory yet. I agree with you totally. Big applause for the defense, but no one is taking their headset off on the sidelines. They don't believe this game is over. The offense has to close this one out by taking care of the football. They'll try to close it out now. Now here's a timeout defensively coming from the Cardinals. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. on first down but couldn't connect that was close to a big play and just a little bit too far that he was led he caught it but couldn't stay in bounds Charles yeah I'm not very good at these sort of things but I have to believe the farther you are downfield the less your margin for error in throwing the ball correct yeah yeah so they gave it a good effort there really tried just couldn't complete it a big game there and that should certainly be enough to put this one in the win column Obviously, a big play was needed, and you can see his eyes light up as he realized there's absolutely no one in front of him. And he takes off and goes, and goes a long way. Not only does he pick up a first down, but a big gain to boot. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Throwing now is Wilson. He's going to look deep down the field. And that'll be incomplete with just six seconds left on the clock. And the return here will go to the 31-yard line. Well, Charles, a game and a decision that people may be talking about tomorrow for sure. Had a chance at a long field goal there at the end to try and tie it. They elect to not kick it, and they lose the game. And I think what we'd all love to see is that little slip of paper that the special teams coach handed to head coach before the game. They said... This is where our kicker is good from the deck. This is where he feels confident because that might be the absolute mark that tells us, okay, maybe we have to run more offense because maybe he doesn't feel good about kicking it from this distance. So for the Seahawks, they've indeed run the table here on the regular season. They finish a perfect 16-0, joining the 07 Pats and the 72 Dolphins as the only teams to ever do so. And now they'll have the week off as they get set to go after a Super Bowl title. Meanwhile, for Arizona, they wanted desperately to finish at 500, but that won't happen as it'll be a 7-9 season in the end. And they can take solace in the fact that this team never quit all the way to the end.